joint classifications we've got a different range of them so in terms of bones um, that form joints we've got about 350 joints in the body and these come in three different types we've got a fixed joint and this will be where they don't move um, and during childhood as you grow they will interlock um, and strengthen um, so the cranium for example is a is, a, is one that will fuse together as you grow older to protect the brain a cartilaginous joint slight movement um, but they are covered with highline cartilage to reduce a little bit of friction so the vertebral column's got um, cartilaginous joints between each vertebra and then you sign over your joints um, a very large range of movements very fluid easy to move but these have a particular um, l differences in there and um, specifically the inclusion of synovial fluid so here's a, an example you may be asked to label certain things on a synovial joint but your joint capsule and um, this just keeps everything together and protects the joint really uh, holds everything in um, then you've got your bursa, which is a really small fluid sac, a bit like a cushion, and that can just sit underneath a tendon to allow um, f freer movement, really. Your articular cartilage is found at the end of both bones, as we know. And then we've got our synovial membrane, which is a, a capsule. And as we know, membranes allow certain things in and out. Uh, but in this case, it, it's there to really hold and release synovial fluid when needed. And um, this fluid, um, synovial fluid, is there to lubricate the joint and allow allow nutrients and things like that um, to the bone. Lastly, we've got the ligaments, and as we know, they support the joint stability and prevent any excessive movement. So, going through the the, the six types of synovial joints, first one's a ball and socket allows complete free movement um, you'll find an example of this in your hip and shoulder movement in all directions flexion extension abduction you name them it does them all then you've got your hinge joint um, this is where it has a, a very specific tracking movement so you can't do lots of movements it is pretty much um, forwards and backwards or flexion and extension a bit like the hinge of a door so the elbow and knee joint, um, as well as the ankle, are all hinge type joints. Then you've got a pivot joint. Um, this pivot joint they see here in the the skull um, is well, the skull is is sat on the atlas and axis, which are very irregular bones um, that allow the rotation movement of the skull itself. Um, and that's really all that needs to be said about that. It allows you to, to turn your head left and right. Your gliding joints. So you will find these in um, your, your ankle and your uh, your wrist as well. Um, but only s only small bones in the ankle uh, classify as a gliding joint. But it, it is mainly seen as a hinge joint. But definitely in the wrist. So movements over flat surfaces. It's a very small movements if anything but ligaments prevent too big a movement so your carpals and tarsals um, specifically will be gliding then you've got your condyloid all right so your, your condyloid joint uh, can be found uh, where one bone will move over the groove of another so it can move forward and back or side to side Ligaments prevent rotation, so the patella um, sits and moves in the groove of the femur, um, and that basically tries to make sure that the, the, the traction goes forwards and backwards in a good, smooth way. Your saddle joint. Actually, going back to condyloid, you'll, you'll see that the condyloid joint there is looking at the wrist, um, and this is based at the end of the, the radius. Now, you can twist um, these which will come to with different movements but you can rotate the wrist supination pronation um, at the wrist so in that respect it can be classified as condyloid as well onto your saddle joint um, very simple it would be your thumb 
you've got your trapezius bone which is shaped in a very clever way and that allows the the bone to just sit on it and allow forward back side to side type movements um, and you'd use that thumb joint when I don't know, playing computer games, holding tennis